It's been a long time. Um, hmm. Let me check my YouTube page real quick. Hmm. Like, my Skylander box opening video has 100 views. So, let me get this straight. Opening a Skylander pack that everybody does that is nothing new. I had no new thoughts on it. And there's a hundred views. In fact, part two got more views than part one did. What is up with this, you people? And it got more views than Pokemon. More views than Pokemon. Come on! It's just Okay, obviously it has to be the search engine because they're not going to look up the uh, thing It's like, oh, it's just a picture of his face, so he's obviously talking about Pokemon. It says Pokemon blog there. This is going to be boring shit. I don't want to know what he has to say about this. Oh, hey, he's opening up Skylanders. I'm going to look at this. Skylanders! Skylanders! <laughs> look at Skylanders! <laughs> Skylanders! Skylanders aren't popular. Alright, so moving on. It's, oh, okay. Uh, well, in my previous uh, vlogs, I had uh, pointed out that I am going to be doing some reviews. Now, yes, I know there's a lot of reviewers out there. It does not matter because I got something else to say on these. It's not like I'm lo looking through. It's like, this guy has a good point. Let me write this down. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> that's a good line. I'm going to copy that. <laughs> yes, this one gets me lots of views and no blaming whatsoever. No. It's going to be my stuff, my viewpoint. In fact, there are a lot of movies that I like. As a 32-year-old, I like these movies. The other people are like, it's just a piece of shit. It doesn't need to be made. It's just a waste of time. No, it's... It has good points, it has bad points. Avatar. Avatar the non-airbender. Uh, I happen to like it. it. It was beautiful. It was engaging. Yes, it was another Pocahontas. It was Pocahontas with uh, tall blue uh, cat people. And who, who doesn't like tall blue cat people? I mean, the drows are uh, famous, and the hats got to be because they're blue, so... And there's a lot of furries out there. And they're tall. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with tall. So anyway, I do know if you know about this uh, board game. There's this board game called Doorway to Horror. I do not own Doorway to Horror. I am using this uh, clip. The Bronx Doorway of Horrors was a uh, board game back in the time of the VHS. So. They had a VHS included where you pop the VHS in your VHS player, or tape player, and you pause it. You roll the dice, move the pieces, draw cards, and then you fast forward the tape to the color that shows on the dice. And it shows you a clip of a really old horror movie. They distinguish between the five uh, different type of monsters. They got the vampire, the werewolf, the witch, the zombie, and monster because we ran out of ideas. The idea is that it would show a clip of the monster type, and then it would have like two other monsters. And what you're supposed to do is use these cards that has the weapon that's supposed to defeat your monster. And use that to obtain the little monster cardboard thing. Now, it's been a long time since I played, so I'm vague on the rules. The idea that you need to know is that they use monsters from monster films. So, my idea, I'm updating this list. And whenever I do a horror film, I'll be displaying a generic little tiny cliché symbol of the monster. 
Why? Because well, I want to. And it's new. But also, when I talk about these horror movies, there are going to be some movies that the monster is not clearly defined. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define what I think it is. I'm going to define the monsters down on the screen while I'm talking about it. And you can just leave your comments if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right. You could yell at me, it's a zombie, it's obviously not a werewolf. However, my list is going to be updated. It's not going to be just the five. There's more other monsters out there that need a little bit more attention than being defined under generic monster. So, I'm going to explain and demonstrate what I classify these uh, class of monsters to be. If I miss one, please let me know and I will add it. Along with the classifications of the monsters, each monster has a certain way that has to get, be killed. And I will describe that as well. This is a very major part of the classification system. First, vampire. Now, this is this is a very classic monster. I mean, once you hear me say vampire, a very clear image comes to mind. No! 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 Not that vampire! No! That's not vampires. Not in my classification. No! No, that's a romance. Not a horror romance. I mean, a lot of these uh, monster groups are classified differently depending on the uh, author, but Twilight is not going to show up on this list. Because it's not a horror movie. Oh, no, it's a romance about a whiny ass gothic chick. I'll get into that later. Anyway, what classifies as a vampire? Well, it's, it's, there's the obvious, but just in case you don't know, Vampire, I don't really classify as really undead. Some vampires do have to die in order to become the vampire. Some vampires drink another vampire's blood, and probably usually dies in the process. But one thing that makes almost all the vampires a vampire is drinking blood. Usually through fangs. Sometimes two, sometimes a whole mouth, but vampire drinks blood. He usually does not like being in the daylight. And rarely nowadays can transform into a bat, mist, wolf, some kind of creature of the night. And yes, apparently a mist is a creature of the night. That's weird. So and some vampires fly and have superhuman strength. That's weird. That's why you don't really classify them as undead. I mean, once you think about undead, it's like a weak, muscleless corpse just going rolling around. So, vampires, I do not classify as undead. They're just creatures of the night looking for the next feast. Unless they die and then they come back and they're like a corpse walking that drinks blood and has super superhuman strength, then they're undead. To kill a vampire, you have to use a wooden stake. Now, there's also the sun, but impalement through the heart seems to almost always work. And if you're fighting them in the nighttime, which is a bad idea, impalement through the heart usually works. Silver also binds a button. We're, not, we're talking about killing. Werewolf. Alright, now, this is not usually a gray area. Werewolf is a person, during the full moon, transforms into a wolf. Sometimes it's a man-wolf, 
like he grows his snout and he gets all these fangs and he grows hair and then he's like biped werewolf possibly a tail um sometimes they just transform into a wolf like a full wolf no man wolf just a wolf but the thing is there's got to be some wolf qualities now are different types of lichen in this case like it could be just about any animal rare bat a were hog where fish that's a mermaid uh where raven or where dinosaur it someone needs to do this now I just the weird di dinosaur. This is like the best thing ever. Someone has to do that and they'll make money. You know, like green stuff that you get when people watch your movie. This is the oh my god. No, no, I'm doing it. It's my copyright. I am doing the weird dinosaur. It'll probably be campy. Someone else do it. Majority of the time, the werewolf loses their sense of self. They just become an animal, and they hunt, and they kill, and they eat. <laughs> so, some of them, though, I've seen, they just transform into the werewolf, and there's no repercussions. To kill a werewolf, you have to use silver. Not necessarily a silver bullet, because I've seen silver, like, daggers kill the werewolves and whatnot. It's just, for some reason... Normal means will just hurt the beast. If you want to actually snuff him out, gotta hit him with silver. Or, I don't know, just kill him while he's in his human form. I mean, that seems... That seems like the easy way to do it. And also, if you see your friends start transforming, like, stab him in the face while it's growing the muzzle. Just be like, bitch! Which now this is the one that has been updated through time. Uh in the doorways to horror, it's usually the green skin, the bubbly nose, the bubble bubble toilet trouble. I'm making a potion, it's very cliche. I can't rhyme. <laughs> happens though they cast spells they're usually in it for themselves like god you're beautiful I'm going to steal your beauty or just like making someone fall in love with them or placing curses on people but back in the day apparently water was a very common way to kill a witch I don't know why. Uh, the attempted reboot of Wizard of Oz, you know, like the backstory that everybody hates, except for me, they explain that the witch is a fire element. She has fire within, and water puts her out. So that's why when water got splashed on her, she had a dramatic melting scene spiraling into the floor. The modern witch, however, because she's all spellbound and she's in the mystical spiritual realm, the surefire way to defeat her is with spells. And of course, the, logically they'd be mortal and you could like shoot them in the face. But they'll probably be expecting that and they'll probably ward it somehow. I mean, if this is a good horror movie, the witch will find some way to protect herself. Except against other spells. Well, no, not really, because they can block that. But I bet you they won't see it. There would probably be like some other witch that you've seen through the movie and your protagonist come up to her and she ain't like, Oh, good witch, good witch, good witch, there's an evil witch that we need to kill. Magic is for that, it's for killing. She's killing people. Holy shit, we must kill that bitch right now. Zombies. Yeah, not a big fan. Alright, so. 
going to hear this a lot out of me. So make it brief. Try not to do it in every single other movie. Zombies are the walking dead. There's not much more to uh, talk about. As long as it's a horde and they're brainless and they want to eat something and they transfer a virus or they just kill you and you rise back up. But it's, as long as they're undead, they're mindless, it's a horde, and they eat things. Possibly turning you while they eat you. It's a zombie. Now. Not a big fan because a good chunk of zombie movies. Plot follows thusly. Happy time. Either like a family's ball loving each other. Like, yay, we're of a half family. Hugs. Yay, let's sing Barney. I love you. You love me. Suddenly. Oh my god, zombies. Zombie chasing where people die. And a horror of like, oh no, my loved one is coming back. And suddenly he's all singing. <laughs> so they start running away and they soon find out that there's like some kind of virus going on. Or a necromancer has risen an army of undead for no good reason. Or some kind of like mutated monsters biting people, killing them, turning them into the walking mindless dead. They find a whole group of people that's in a similar case. Majority of the time, one has been bitten and he's a douchebag and not telling everybody. Oh, oh I got bit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm not, I'm not hurt. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm going to kill people. I'm good. They find a pretty decent place to, like, you know, possibly about their lives, but then they realize there's one major thing that they're missing. Food. So, they have to go and, like, find food. But the problem is zombies are still doing that. So, they have to come up with a scheme to escape the zombies, which usually involves in more deaths, and possibly the main character gets killed off, and everybody's like, Oh my god, I didn't see this coming! And they just run off, trying to find the ultimate safe haven, and they finally get there, and oh no, that's being raided too, because apparently zombies. Usually ends with the characters dying, or they just run off and you don't know if they find a good place. A uh, good zombie movie would actually solve their thing, or get everyone killed off. It's just, don't, don't leave it hanging and be like, oh, there's a possibility that this could happen. Usually to kill a zombie, You'd have to set it on fire. But as a uh, friend pointed out, when you do that, you've got a zombie on fire running around now. That's still like, I want to eat you. And now he's on fire, so he grabs you, and now you're on fire, and you're screaming there. Ah, oh, and the, the zombies are like, mm, barbecue. The best way to kill a zombie is a headshot. <laughs> headshot. And that doesn't just have to be like a bullet to the brain. You can bash the head, chop the head off, as long as like this brainless zombie doesn't have a brain anymore. That doesn't make sense. Zombies don't make sense. Zombies are illogical. Zombies can't happen. Now, vampires, that's very logical. I mean, that is precise, spot on, can happen. Interesting tidbit, by the way. I want you to look at all the zombie movies that you've watched. Now, tell me, how many actual, like, blockbuster hit the uh, movies, and it's a very popular movie, how many of those movies... Do you hear zombies going brains, brains, and then actually try to eat the head? I'm. I'll. I'll sit here. I'll let you go through your library. Find any movies that the zombies say brains in it, and that they're serious. They're. They're not B-rated, and they are serious about scaring you with zombies. I mean, scaring, not just oh look, there's a zombie on the screen. <laughs> It's a zombie. We all love zombies. Zombies are cool. I want to marry a zombie. Betcha you cannot find a 
blockbuster zombie movie. That's serious. That is high budget, like, special effects and the best makeup, and they're not wearing, like, little zipper suits. If you can find one, put it in the link. Because I will make fun of it. The next on Dory to Horror uh, list is the monster? It's like a monster, I guess. But look at the card! It's a picture of a dinosaur! Or a giant lizard? That's Reptar! So, and their weapon to kill it was a net? Really? Alright, they pull up any monster movie. Do they use nets to defeat the monster? No! However, this generic monster list covers the rest of my list. I've separated it to multiple ones because there are different ways to kill off a monster. This time, my monster, my generic monster, is more of, it's not like a generic, like, oh, these uh, monsters don't fit into this group or this group or this group. So it's going to go into the bell curve. Nope. Well, kind of. But these rules are different. Because it has to be a monster that does not, that doesn't fit any other groups, ironically. But the thing is, it has to be almost unique. Like giant animals. I'll cover them later. But I'm talking more of like, you know, a horror film where it's like some kids are doing something and they uncover this, not this like gigantic lizard thing, but it's more of like a unique monster that terrorizes them and kills them in a special way. and. Usually there's like a, t a tome or a grimoire or a very wise person that knows this for some reason. That knows a specific way to kill them. Like you have to like stab it with a gnarled like oak root underneath the light of the full moon while chanting a spell and dancing around doing the hokey pokey in the nude. That kind of monster. I think you know what I'm talking about. So I just told you how to kill it. You have to kill it with rules. It's of course some you could shoot it, but that's a pathetic monster. I'm talking about those kinds where you have to dance hokey pokey nude underneath the mo moonlight, possibly listen to Marilyn Manson or some shit. But you have to do something to banish it, to kill it, to make it fall asleep for another like 32 years. It's, yeah, that kind of monster. Now, moving away from the doorways of horror and entering a new doorway, I have the rest of the monsters that were not thought about. I think it's mainly because the films didn't really do these kind of monsters too often. Killer animal. Now, this, this fits anything. It's like a, a giant animal. A swarm of animals, a supercharged animal, just a normal animal, insects, rodents, fish, your mother, just any kind of animal. It's not human. Try to guess how you kill an animal. With weapons. I mean, come on. I mean, you want, you want up almost any, even the horrible, like, stupid movie, the crocodile thing, with the huge crocodile, <laughs> pathetic CGI blood, <laughs> would you kill it with a weapon? Or you crush it somehow? Stab it with your face, maybe? You kill it with a weapon? Serial killers. Yes, the more modernized monster film. 
Now, I know some of you will argue that serial killers really aren't monsters, but they really are. I mean, a lot of them, they, you hear like the protagonist before they die, You're such a monster! <laughs> Thanks for ruining my point! <laughs> and it's, serial killers are just basic. It's, it's a person. Sometimes they're superhuman? But then some of that, sometimes it, they cross the line into either monster or a demon. And then that this just becomes completely different. So, you know, it, they can't have a superpower, or else they're a monster or a demon or something. Unless they're just that one power that doesn't really add anything new to it, and you could still just kill them with a weapon. But it's just, just like the monsters. They're simply killed. Shoot them in their freaking heads. Don't stand there doing like a whole speech and waiting for... Like, I don't know. You just gotta kill him. Don't run. Kill him. Kill the fucker. He's mortal. Unless he's Jason. Then he kind of stepped over to a demon. But you just stab him in the face. Ghost, the ghost uh, mask is just there to scare you and hide his true diet. Just stab him. Shoot him. Stick him in the stew. So, but next... It was being done for a, as long as horror movies were as conceived. I really don't know why this was not included in the doorways of horror. But ghosts. Yeah. Ghosts. I'm also including demons in this. It's just your basic spook. But... I think I know why they didn't include it, because back in that day, Ghostbusters was out, and when you think a ghost and a weapon to defeat said ghost, you think of this, the proton pack, and the little trap, and that's one movie, though. I know people are going to, like, be all flaming troll on me, but I'm actually considering it as a spell. And to defeat ghosts, you need spells. Or it could be a ritual, but there's... Prayer is a ritual slash spell. And the proton packs... And also, technically, they don't kill the spirits, they trap them. But it's a spell of sorts. I mean, they, they didn't sit there casting a spell or writing hexes on the wall being like, Oh, super powerful, like, being that traps ghosts, please hold this ghost inside this weird science box. Science is a kind of alchemy, and alchemy is kind of magic, and magic is kind of spells, so it's kind of spells. So, yeah. <laughs> you defeat ghosts with spells slash rituals. Same thing with demons. Demons are going to be harder, though. Uh, some of you are going to argue that they're completely different. Kind of are. Kind of are. Another more of a modern monster. Aliens. Now, I'm not talking about, like, the Mexicans crossing the border. Oh, I'm sorry. Outer space beings, it does not matter which planet they live on, as long as they're from outer space. Now, I'm also not talking about the E.T. kind, where an alien lands on a planet and you have to like try to get them a home or whatnot, and it's the military that becomes your antagonist. No. Talk about an alien coming to the planet to destroy you. Specifically you. Yes, you, senior. No, not you. You. No. Third from the row. No, third, no. You in the back. No. It's coming for you. I don't care. Now, they're almost more. Almost. They're not, like, invincible or whatnot. But a lot of times, because they use, like, spaceships and whatnot, a lot of times, you gotta use heavy weapons. And you just got a little big asshole in their shit. I don't know why I said it like that. But you just got blown up. Yep. 
That's how you do it. It's a big rocket. Pop their bunghole. Let it explode. And then you drink whiskey while the alien remains rain on you. Yet another modern thing. Well, some of them used it, but it wasn't really that scary because it was such a uh, cheesy ro cardboard robot. And if you don't know what a robot is, then you're living in the medieval ages and you really need to use this new little um, fancy invention called the internet. Look it up. Google. Type in robot. You're going to love this one. To defeat a robot, you have to do robot things. Hey, I didn't say I'm a scientist. Or a robot here. You gotta do stuff to the robot to make it stop working. Like, remove its power source, dismantle it, um, send a rocket up its bunghole, and sip whiskey while you're being rained upon by robot remains. That sounds painful. But you gotta dismantle it. Turn it off, destroy it, disarm it, insult its mother, just do something to shut it off. And there's not much more to say about robots. It's also they're also in a category of their own because it depends on the robot and the manufacturer. And the last on my list, I know a lot of you're gonna argue with me, but I would like to argue back, because I can. First Amendment. I can argue with you all day long. Nature. I'm not pausing for any dramatic effect. I'm just waiting for you to like type in all the comments. Oh, this is not a creature. It's not something that will come and eat you. Ha, ha. It's just like wind or some shit. But you have to think about it this way. I'm talking about horror monsters. It's like a horror film. It's supposed to scare you. And in a lot of these, there's a monster that's chasing you or someone that's trying to kill you. With nature, like let's take a tornado, for example. It's a physical thing coming after you. I mean, it's it doesn't think, but it's deadly. And it's scary as shit if it's really happening. And it's going to kill the shit out of you. And how do you defeat nature? You simply survive. I mean, there's no weapon that you can shoot at a tornado. No, like, nuclear bomb that's going to stop a volcano. No. You have to find a way to survive it. Run from the molten lava slowly creeping up on you. Or duck underneath something that will block the tornado from like picking you up and rage hurling you across the state. You have to find a way to survive, dodge it, run it. It doesn't matter, survive. So that's my monster list. I'm probably missing one and you will tell me it. I know you will. Unless you're one of those 100 that only viewed my Skylander videos. Uh, come on, people! There's there's an odd number of people viewing my tutorials. And that's a progress. You can't just watch this one and be like, Oh, I'm just going to skip a couple. It's the same old, same old. No! You're going to skip over the bones, skip over the uh, skins, and be just like, Huh? So it's just, watch my videos, post comments, I'll fix my channel sometime. But this is the start of my reviews. Will I only do horror? No, no, I plan on doing other types. It's just, I kind of like, I, I liked Dory's to horror. That was a pretty nifty board game and it's very nostalgic for me so 
I plan on giving a nod to stories of horror people. Because your game was awesome. Please make a new game with DVD. That would be cool. A lot easier than the VHS, and you can put a lot more on there. I'll use my list if you wish. I don't care. It's yours. Take it. You don't have to pay me royalties. Royal. You don't have to pay me royalties, but if you want to throw money at me, I'll catch it. I'll thank you. I'll kiss it. I'll make love to it. Not in front of you. That's creepy. But. Anyway. This is Cass. I'm starting to do stuff, so please subscribe. Pass through this door into the honeymoon cottage, where a peeping vampire bat seems set to spoil the proceedings. This bat sure has a head on her shoulders.